Hello everyone, I am Ashwini, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE AML at MLR Institute of Technology. Welcome back to another session of uh, Artificial Intelligence. In this, uh, today's, uh, in this session, we are going to learn Expert Systems Architecture. In the previous session, we have seen what is the uh, Expert System and what are the advantages and disadvantages and what are the characteristics of an Expert System and phases in building Expert System. There are five phases are there identification phase, conceptualization phase, formalization phase, implementation and testing phases and we have already, uh, we have seen knowledge engineering and knowledge representation techniques. So, in this session we will see the architecture. Let us see the expert systems architecture. So, in this uh, architecture it contains a user interface how the user will interact with the um, expert system by using the menus or some buttons they will interact with the user. Next, uh, it contains the explanation module, knowledge acquisition and knowledge base, case base history and case base reasoning, special interfaces and uh, inference engine also will be there. We will see the diagrammatic representation of the expert system. So, in this, the user interacts with the system through a user interface which may use menus, natural language or any other style of interaction with the expert system. Then an inference engine is used to reason with the expert knowledge as well as a data specific to the problem being solved. The case specific data includes both the data provided by the user and partial conclusions with the, along with the certainty measures based on this data. So, in a simple forward training rule based system, case specific data will be included in working memory. There is a knowledge base which contains the static and the dynamic data. Dynamic data is also called as a working memory. So, it is includes that forward training rule based and case specific data will be included in the working memory. Generally, all expert system possess an explanation subsystem which allows a program to explain its reasoning to the user. Some systems also have knowledge acquisition module that helps the experts and knowledge engineer to easily update and check the knowledge base. Let us see the architecture of uh, expert system. So, in this the user will interact with the expert system using user interface that can be a natural language or any other interaction module or any menus also will be there. And user interface will uh, connected with the explanation model how that uh, uh, problem being solved by using a particular method which will be explained by using the explanation model and it will be connected with the knowledge base. The knowledge base is contained uh, two types. Uh, static database and dynamic database. This static database will contain the some fixed uh, values of, for example, formulas for mathematics. Those will be placed into the static database and dynamic database initially it will be empty and it, uh, for example, weather forecasting, it will be changes uh, time to time. So, it will be dynamic mode. Next, uh, it can, uh, knowledge acquisition. This is one of the important uh, phase and the learning module which will be interact with the human expert to gain the knowledge. Next, uh, there is a case history which will uh, which will store the case files, how it will be solved, the problems and solutions will be placed into the case history. Next, the inference engine contains uh, again uh, two types of inference mechanism and control strategies such as uh, forward training and uh, backward training, how it will be solved using those uh, strategies. Let us see one by one. The first one is knowledge base. The knowledge base of an expert system consists of knowledge regarding problem domain in the form of static and dynamic databases. So, static knowledge consists of rules and facts or any other form of knowledge representation which may be compiled as a part of the system does not change during the execution of the system that is fixed. For example, set of mathematical formulas are fixed business rules within the software application. So, that will be fixed, it can't be changed. On the other hand, dynamic knowledge consists of facts related to edge representation which may be compiled a part of the system and does not change during the consulting the expert system. For example, if you take a weather forecasting, dynamic knowledge would include current, temperature, humidity, wind speed, which can be changed frequently. 
So at the beginning of the consultant consultation, the dynamic knowledge base will be empty. As the consultation progress, dynamic knowledge base uh, grows and is used in decision making along with the static knowledge. By using uh, dynamic knowledge, it will uh, take the help of static knowledge also to uh, make the uh, decisions. Working memory is deleted at the end of the consultation of the system. The second one is inference engine. This inference engine of an expert system encompasses both the inference mechanism and control strategies for managing new knowledge. It employs formal reasoning techniques like matching and unification to search through the knowledge base akin to human problem solving strategies. Inference rules consisting of if-then clauses drive the system's ability to solve diagnostic and predictive problems. These rules stored separately in the knowledge base are applied independently by the inference engine which employs the control strategy to determine their order of applications. So here which contains a reasoning mechanism utilized by the inference engine are backward chaining and forward chaining two types of control uh, strategies backward chaining and forward chaining the forward chaining process begins with the data it contains the initially some data through that data it will derive the conclusions draw some conclusions so that's why it is also known as the data driven and for example if you take if symptoms include headaches, sneezing, uh, running nose, sore throat, then the patient has cold. So, uh, headache, sneezing, running nose, sore throat, these are the data. By using this data, it needs to draw the conclusions. So that is the forward training. Next, uh, the backward training begins with the desired goal. So, for example, cold. Then it will, it should match with the symptoms, running nose and a headache sore throat then it, it will match with the goal so here the forward training and backward training for example the system checks if the user has symptoms like a headache sneezing conclude presence of cold or missiles backward training the system aims to satisfy a goal by finding a rule that conclude cold then checking if symptoms match if not it explores other rules until successful or all options are exhausted forward training pro progresses from facts to conclusions while backward training starts from goals to goals and works backward to establish the conditions so prolog uses the backward training while ops5 employs the forward training Next one is knowledge acquisition. This one is the major one. Knowledge uh, are originates from diverse sources like textbooks, uh, reports, case studies, articles and domain experts. Knowledge acquisition model facilitates gathering additional domain specific knowledge. The systematic interviews, questionnaires with the experts, will, they will gather. The knowledge engineer extracts expert methods, procedures and strategies during this process. Subsequently, knowledge can be updated using the acquisition module allowing for insertion, deletion, modification of knowledge. This module may include learning component employing machine learning techniques to enhance knowledge acquisition. Next one is case history. This case history stores the files created by inference engine using dynamic database. Different cases with the solutions are stored in the case based system. Next one is user interface. The user interface of an expert system enables interactive communication with the system aiding in the creation of working knowledge for problem solving. Users input knowledge using specialized interfaces are editors and inference present questions and information while receiving and interpreting user responses. Responses are verified for correctness and the data type with the inference prompting for corrections if needed. The system guides user through a series of questions to gather symptoms dynamically generated based on existing information and knowledge base. While responses in the dialog model are simplified are binary yes or no, advanced interfaces may accept natural language rep responses and employ processing techniques also. Let's see one example. 
So system will ask, do you have fever? You said yes. Then system will go to the symptoms. Do you have sore throat? No. System. Do you have cough? Yes. Are you sure suffering from running nose? Yes. Are you suffering from headache? No. So in such a way, the system will interact with the user. Next, the next module is explanation module. So how and why it will be used the term? Here, it will be a, the explanation module will give the answers to how and why. Provides user with insights into systems reasoning and the rational behind its conclusion. So, how module elucidates the process by which the system arrived particular solution. Next, why module deals into the reasoning behind the system solution to a specific problem. It explains why particular solution was chosen by referencing the system's goals, rules utilized, the problem data analyzed. Model provides user with a deeper insights into underlying decision making process. So, the knowledge structure of an expert system typically comprises rules with the antecedents, conditions that satisfies lead to the uh, assertions of a consequent. In the previous session, we have already seen that conditions and conclusions. The explanation facilities users can gain better understanding of expert systems working, how it will be chosen that particular method to solve the problem. In the by using explanation module, the system will give the uh, explanation. Do you have running nose? Yes. System. I am trying to prove that you have cold. Do you have headache? Means it is giving the explanation. I am trying to prove that you have cold. Do you have headache? Yes. Do you have sore throat? No. Then you do not have cold. Then it is drawing some conclusion that then you do not have cold. Do you have fever? Yes. Now I am looking at the possibility of missiles. So next it is not a cold, it is not a fever. Then it will go into the next disease that is uh, missiles. Do you have cough? Yes. I can infer missiles using the rule if symptoms are fever, cough, running nose, then patient has missiles. If these are the if then rules already we have seen missiles is concluded. Then user is asking how how it will be concluded as missiles. Since you have fever, running nose, and cough, and there is a rule if symptoms are fever, cough, running nose, then patient has missiles. So missiles is concluded for you. The next one is special interfaces. The specialized interfaces are developed to handle uncertainty in knowledge representing a significant of a, a area of research. So already we have discussed a human can't give 100% guarantee that a statement will be true. So in such a way in the expert systems also there is a uncertainty to avoid that uncertainty it will be added as a confidence factor or weight with rules. So reasoning with the uncertainty involves a set of methods for combining uncertain knowledge with the uncertain data during the reasoning process. Probability theory is one such method traditionally used to quantify uncertainty. So we can, for example, if it is a humid, then it will be rain. In the pro probability theory, we can say, okay, 97% uh, it is a uh, guaranteed that uh, there is a, a rain today. In such a way, there is a some uh, certainty factor or some weight will be added to that statement that says that uh, that is 97% will be true. So, in this session, we have seen architecture of the expert system. Thank you.